say that. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Ken. I'm Nisha. <laughs> and today we want to talk to you about something very, very important, which is fatty liver disease. We both see it in our practice. Me as a family doctor and Nisha as a labor and delivery nurse. And a lot of people have just never heard about it. And so we wanted to talk about it today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, um, please, there are thousands, there are millions of Americans and Canadians who have fatty liver and don't even know it. So please share this video with anybody who's a little overweight, who has type 2 diabetes, who has insulin resistance, or who drinks too much Coke or orange juice, because all those people are at very, very high risk of having fatty liver disease. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, and also give us some hearts, give us some thumbs and let us know you're out there. That also helps bump the algorithms on Instagram and Facebook so that everyone else can watch this as well. Yeah. So we're live on Facebook if you're on Instagram and we're live on Instagram if you're on Facebook and you want to, you know, just Yeah. Pick your favorite both. platform and just. And you can share on Instagram and you can share on Facebook. So, exactly. You know, That's right. That's right. Share away. The more you share, the more people we can help. So let's do this. Now, let's start out with some statistics about fatty liver because many people have never heard about this. They don't know it's a thing. Fatty liver affects up to 40% of adult Americans. Like literally four out of 10 people you know have fatty liver and you don't have to be overweight to have it. Do you have to be an alcoholic? No, you don't. And that's a lot of people think, oh, that's alcoholics or people with hepatitis or, or people who've overdosed on acetaminophen. But no, that's not the case at all. Fatty liver disease is caused far and away by your diet, and we're going to talk about how you can detect this and how you can fix this, and then ways also to talk to your doctor if your doctor really doesn't want to discuss this with you. Um, I see fatty liver in my clinic every single day. Every time I get lab work back on somebody, there's not a day that goes by. I'll maybe have 40 or 50 labs to go over. There's four or five fatty livers in the in the in the stack, and so it's very very common. And even Nisha has seen elevated liver enzymes in labor and delivery oh, yeah. with in 20 year old girls, right? In teen teenage girls sometimes, and it's not because they have HELP syndrome. It's because they have fatty liver. They're in their teen, late teens, early 20s, late 20s, and they already have fatty liver disease, and that's completely unacceptable because you can fix it. It doesn't have to be a thing. It's not something you're stuck with. So you think, okay, well, it's adults, right? Actually, 10% of American kids have fatty liver disease. So it's not just adults. It can even be little kids. If, like if, young kids. Like yeah, six, very, yeah, six, seven six years old. old. There, there are actually kids under 12 who are on the liver transplant list because they have had complete liver failure from fatty liver disease, and it's just because of their diet. That's a, that's a true thing. Uh, being on the liver transplant list used to, be, used to mean you had overdosed on Tylenol, or, or an you were an alcoholic for 20, 30 years, or you had terrible hepatitis, right? Yeah. Now the leading cause of liver failure is fatty liver disease, which is in, caused entirely by your diet and is fixable entirely by your diet. Is that, that's a little crazy, right? So you guys, if you know somebody who might have this and, and have no idea, please share this video. Uh, and give it some hearts so you can bump the algorithm so that we can help as many people as we possibly can. Now, also, I want to know, leave in the comments where you guys are from because we love seeing where you guys are from. I saw someone Australia. Already? Yeah, Australia? Australia? Oh, nice. So let us know where you're from. If you're from somewhere else in Tennessee or somewhere else in the U.S. or somewhere else in the world, let us know. Are we? Oh, my phone isn't flipped. But it is flipped. Just stand it up? Can't you just flip it? No. Yeah, just do that and we'll just make do. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know why it's not doing Sorry that. about that. I don't know why that is. Okay. All right. So let's talk about fatty liver. Have you, have you, I mean, had you heard about this really before no, we started studying just it? Just you. Yeah, right. Just me. Not exactly. As, as usual, right? Just me. Won't shut up about something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I still don't really get it. So uh, probably a lot of people don't get it. Right. So let's talk about it. It's uh, I don't know. It's confusing. It is. It sounds like a disease of old people, old fat people. That's who would get that, right? Well, it just sounds like. I don't, what do you mean? 
fatty liver. I can't visualize so somebody with a fatty liver. Like, what does that person look like? You know what I mean? Like, yes. you, you know what a typical diabetic looks like, and you know what a typical mm-hmm. alcoholic looks like, and you know what mm-hmm. a typical, you know, obese person, or, you know, all those things. But I don't know, like, when I think about fatty liver, I don't see mm-hmm. a person. Exactly. I just see, hear your word. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for me to, like, understand. That's exactly right, and that's a great observation because that's exactly right. There is no characteristic person with fatty liver disease. If you eat the standard American diet or the standard Canadian diet, you could look and act completely normal and already be advancing in the stages of fatty liver disease. Absolutely. Yeah. And so there is no poster child, so to speak, for fatty liver. In the old days, if you were on the the liver transplant list, you were an alcoholic, right? Or you had had terrible hepatitis. So you could just picture that old person who drank too much, smoked too much, all that stuff. This is a disease. This is an epidemic disease caused by our diet. Yeah, and so everyone everyone eats. So so everyone is at risk for this if you're eating the wrong foods. So that you're exactly right. That's how it come it's so dangerous is you don't even know you have it until eventually your doctor gets around to saying, hey, your liver enzymes have been elevated here for the last few years. I'm not sure why, but we need to probably get an ultrasound. Then when you ultrasound your liver or you get a CAT scan of your liver, you see streaks, just like if you look at a ribeye steak, you know, the fatty mm-hmm. streaks, exactly like that. And, and that's okay in your ribeye to have fat. It's actually very preferable to have fat in your ribeye, but it's not okay to have fat in your liver. And so we're going to talk about the way you get it, how you how you prevent it, and how you fix it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So somebody said it's human foie gras, but that makes sense, unless yeah. you don't know what foie gras means. Yeah. And then it doesn't make any sense. But, mm-hmm. like, okay, so foie gras is fat, tea, mm-hmm. liver, exactly. but as a dish. And yeah. how, do you, how do you make a duck have a that's fatty exactly liver? exactly right. So fatty <laughs> liver in a goose is actually a, a good thing because that's how we have delicious foie gras, right? But in a human, it's terrible. You don't want that at all. And so how do you make a goose have fatty liver? You feed them bacon and butter and stuff like that. Is that how you do that? Does anybody know how you do it? Comment if you know how you make a a goose have fatty liver. It's not from giving them bacon. bacon. It's not butter. No, it's not butter. You actually give a goose fatty liver by shoving a tube down his throat and force feeding him corn because corn is very high in fructose, right? That's how you make a a goose have fatty liver. And you can also make any animal have a fatty liver by feeding them lots of corn because corn is very high in fructose, right? One of the sugars. And that's what does it. I guess a farmer could try to make a a goose have fatty liver by feeding him butter, but I think it it would fail. I don't think it would work. I think you have to feed them fructose because fructose is one of the sugars, and it's metabolized differently than the other sugars, okay? It goes straight to the liver and is much more likely to be turned into fat in the liver than than other things, okay? And that's not to say that other sugars are okay. We'll talk about that in a second. But let's talk about how you can give yourself fatty liver. Let's talk about that. Is it eating grains? Yeah, eating grains. <laughs> grains are, are a great way, and corn is a grain. A lot of people think corn's a vegetable, mm-hmm. but it's not. Is corn, rice a grain? Yeah, rice is a grain. So are oats. Oats are not good for you. Do not eat oats, especially if you're a diabetic. Oats are terrible for you, okay? I have to say that every time because there's always one person that's like, no, wait, oats are great. No, they're what not. about quinoa? Quinoa is a seed, not a grain, right? And so it's less bad, but if you eat too much quinoa, then it could still lead to this a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as the other grains, okay? Amaranth is also another seed that's not as bad. Uh, there's a few other of the ancient seeds that are not as bad that you can kind of use in a grain-like way if you're in recipes and stuff. Um, so if you wanted to give a human being fatty liver, here's how you would do it. And you guys keep those hearts coming. It helps other people see that we're live, okay? You would take a kid and you would give that kid pancakes and syrup and orange juice for breakfast. You would give that to him every day if he wanted it, right? And anytime you did give him some bacon or egg or anything, you would put that on a biscuit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you put that on a biscuit and then you maybe put some jelly on there too. And so you see how that kind of sounds like, well, what's wrong with pancakes and syrup and, and a biscuit? That sounds like just regular American fare, right? I'll see, all those carbs are simple carbs. And when they break down in your stomach, whether it's whole grain wheat, whether it's the, the fruit and the jelly, or whether it's the sugar and the syrup, they all break down into the same thing, glucose and fructose. 
and we're right back to the fructose again. You get that? You see how that works? So that's terrible. You, you don't want to do that to your kid. And a lot of people feel bad. They're like, oh, my kid, he just wants to eat like all the other kids. And I always tell the parent, well, if you want your kid to have fatty liver disease, just like all the other kids, keep letting him eat that way. Otherwise, unless your kid buys groceries at the store, then you're kind of in charge of what's in the house, right? Mm, yeah. Within, within, within reason. Within yeah. reason, right, yeah. Kids sneak in stuff. They're just going to do it. And if you've got a teenager, it's a little harder, no doubt. We're well aware. But it's still doable. And so the point is, every time they don't have that, you decrease their odds of having fatty liver. So I'm not saying they can never have that. It's just they don't need to have that very often. That's a treat. Pancakes and syrup are a treat. When I was growing up, you had that on Sunday. Sunday morning before church, we had pancakes and syrup. And that was, that was the only time. If I asked for pancakes on Tuesday, my granny would be like, mm -mm, no, no, eggs and bacon today. You can have pancakes this weekend. Is that I how it works? I never had pancakes. You never had pancakes? I had, uh, what are those? Lego Magos. Oh, waffles. waffles. Oh, Little yeah. toaster waffles. Yeah, the yeah. crappy kind that are yeah. pre-made and frozen. Mm -hmm. I'm sure those were super healthy. Yeah, and that brings up about a good point. What if you hand make your waffles from organic whole wheat flour? Is that going to make you less likely to develop fatty liver? No. No, because it's still wheat, which breaks down into fructose and sucrose no matter where the wheat came from that's what it breaks down into and so fruit juice every morning bad idea don't do that coca-cola every morning bad idea please don't do that that's that's child abuse in my opinion okay and so as this child who starts out eating pancakes and, and syrup every morning for breakfast as they get older that just becomes a way of life you've taught them to eat terrible foods that are going to destine them for fatty liver disease right? And so you don't want to do that. You want to feed your baby other things besides things that cause fatty liver disease, okay? Have we seen any more where everybody's from? Are you guys telling us where you're from? I want to know. I want to know. It's Canada. Canada. I'm from Canada. Hey, guys. There's Donna. Hey, Donna. Waverly. Waverly. Hey, Waverly. Pittsburgh, Texas, Arlington, Northern Ireland. Hi. Welcome, Northern Ireland. We're West glad Texas, to have you. West Texas, Melbourne. United Kingdom, Netherlands. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Hey, guys. We're so thankful you could join us. And I really want you guys to really make a little effort to share this because there are so many people who don't know better than to give their kids biscuits and gravy or biscuits and, and jelly for breakfast. And they think, well, I just gave my kid a great breakfast. And they literally are predestining them for fatty liver disease and other chronic diseases as well. Somebody asked if whole milk was okay. Mm. So let's talk about dairy. What are the three things that make up dairy? Sugar. Sugar, protein, <laughs> and maybe fat, right? Fat. That's right. And so if you're giving your, if you think you're doing a good thing by giving your child skim milk or 1% or 2%, basically you've taken out all the good fat and you've left sugar and protein. So you've actually increased the percentage of sugar that they get. So if you must feel compelled to give your baby milk, please give them whole milk. Preferably give them real half and half, right? That way the sugar percentage is much, much lower because it's the sugar and the potentially inflammatory protein in milk that is bad for your babies, okay? It's not the fat. Somebody asked about raw milk. That doesn't really change anything. And see, that's one of those things that tricks your mind. It you sounds think, really good. It's raw organic milk, right? right. It's, un, it's unpasteurized. It's unprocessed. It Let still me... comes out of a cow, mm -hmm. and the cow is making mm -hmm. that to make their baby fat. That's right. They're making their cow, baby cow grow so, as fast as possible. Yeah. It's still got just the same exact amount of lactose. Now, who knows what lactose breaks up into? It breaks up into two sugars. What are they? Can anybody guess? I'm going to let you let somebody leave that in the comments. I'm not going to tell you, but one of them is sucrose uh, or glucose. I'm sorry. One of them is glucose. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you the other one. You got to see if you can guess it. Okay. Now let's see. Let's talk about, do we need to talk more about how you get it and what you, what, what you eat that causes it? Or do we need to I move mean, on? I mean, is it not just pretty much crap? Yeah. I mean, it's, essentially, if you eat the American standard diet, you're going to get fatty liver. Is that basically? Pretty much. Yeah. And that's why four out of 10 Americans have it. Maybe, and some experts say five to six out of 10 grown Americans have at least some degree of fatty liver. And here's the problem with that. When you have fatty liver, it puts you at risk of liver failure. Duh. But also, guess how what percentage of type 2 diabetics have fatty liver? Uh, all of 
them? 80%. Yeah, so pretty much all of them. So if you're a type 2 diabetic, if your doctor's never commented about how you've also got fatty liver, you need to specifically ask. And I will talk about some of the tests and labs here in a second that you can use to to know if you have it or not. But if you are overweight, if you have insulin resistance, if you have type 2 diabetes, you probably have at least some degree of fatty liver. Can you reverse it, like if you start eating healthy? Yes, yeah. yes you can. Yes, you can. I can't reverse it, okay? Your nurse cannot reverse it. Your doctor cannot reverse it. Doctors at the Mayo Clinic or UCLA or Harvard can't, re can't reverse it. They can't do it. It is impossible for them to reverse, okay? but you can reverse it. And I'm going to tell you how to do it today for free. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? Yeah. Okay, first, first, before we get into fixing it, how, like, what do we need to do? Like, if I go to my doctor and say, I need to be tested, like, what do I need yeah. to be tested yeah. for yeah. to yeah. know that I have yeah. a fatty? So liver? let's talk about the tests that you need when you go to your doctor. Because let me tell you, there are a lot of, doctors are all well-meaning. They're not, they're not bad people. They're good people, but they're so busy and they've been so tricked by some of the paradigms that doctors are taught in medical school and by our colleagues that we don't even think right. I used to not think right. I used to be a, a dumb, I used to be a fat, dumb, unthinking doctor. True story. Yeah. You remember that? Remember that? Yeah, I didn't like you then though. <laughs> you didn't like me. That's exactly right. <laughs> and so, okay. So you go to your doctor and you say, hey doc, I'm, I saw this video about fatty liver and I'm kind of worried about it. Could we do some testing and make sure I don't have it? Because I'm a little overweight. Or you said I was insulin resistant or I'm a type 2 diabetic. So I really want to know if I have fatty liver. And if your doctor says something like, don't worry about that. that doesn't, that's, that everybody has that. That's nothing to worry about. That's a red flag. You know, that's a, that's, a red, that's a warning that maybe your doc needs to do some extra reading and needs to catch up on his knowledge base, okay? So here are the tests. And so if your doc says, okay, well, let's check some stuff. And then he'll probably know what to check once you jog his memory. But you should ask for a complete metabolic panel. And that's going to give you a, a few tests for your, your kidneys, a few tests for electrolytes, but then also at least four different tests for your liver function are in that as well, okay, a complete metabolic panel, and I think we might leave it in the in the notes below, you want to leave the, on Facebook, yeah. on Facebook, yeah, on, on the Facebook, so you guys on Instagram, go to the Facebook page, and the list of tests will be in the, in the description, okay, so a complete metabolic panel, you also need just a complete blood count, just because you need that, you also need a GGT, gamma glutamyl transferase, okay, and that gives you an indication if there's actual liver damage being done, and within the, the CMP, there will be an ALT, an AST, and an alkaline phosphatase, right? And those are the three. If any three of those are even one point elevated, one point, that's not okay. That's absolutely not okay because for years, I as a doctor, if you're back when I first started practicing, if your ALT was three points high, five points high, ten points high, I'd be like, eh, you know, it's a little high. It's nothing to worry about. We'll just watch it. Famous last words of a doctor, right? No, if your ALT or your AST or your alkaline phosphatase or your GGT are even one point high above the lab normal, big deal, not okay. You need to get dead serious about fixing your fatty liver because it, then your doc will probably check a hepatitis panel if any of those are elevated to make sure you haven't accidentally gotten hepatitis and didn't know about it because that can't happen. Sometimes you can have just like a viral illness and feel like you've got the flu and it's really hepatitis B or C, and that's just, it doesn't get any worse than that. Now, sometimes you turn yellow, and you're in the ICU with hepatitis, right? Yeah. But sometimes you can just have like a viral infection, and you're like, I don't know what the hell that was, but I feel better now, so whatever. But that, that was you catching hep B or hep C from somebody, and you just didn't know it. And so he'll, he needs to check a hepatitis panel to make sure you don't accidentally have hepatitis. But then if that's negative, then you've got fatty liver until proven otherwise. Then you're going to say, okay, doc, can we get an ultrasound of my abdomen so that you can look at my liver with ultrasound because you can see the fat, the fatty streaks in there, just like you can see the fatty streaks in a ribeye. It's really gross. It, it is. It's really gross. But let me tell you, when I first started talking about fatty liver, I did a YouTube search, right? Trying to do a little research. I thought, well, I'll watch a few other docs. And there were, there was actually a radiologist and he was doing an ultrasound of an abdomen. And he's like, and he was, he was Middle Eastern. He's like, and you can see some fatty streaks in the liver and some fatty streaks in the pancreas. That's pretty normal. Most adults have that. And I was going, what, 
well, what did he just say? And so I left a comment like, dude, uh, that ain't normal. You need to call that patient and tell them that they, they've got fatty liver and that that's a huge risk factor for not only liver failure, but heart attack, stroke, type 2 diabetes, blah, 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 every other chronic disease known to human, humankind. And he actually, he was a radiologist, so he did that for a living. And he's like, he sees that's fat. probably because he sees so many fatty pancreases and fatty livers that yep. it seems, it seems that that's normal. normal right. Exactly. And it is. It. it is normal, but that ain't normal. But that's not normal. Right. You the want, normal is not normal. You want, to be, you want to be weird, as Dave Ramsey says. You want to be weird. You don't want to be normal when it comes to fatty liver, okay? And so then you're going to tell your doctor, hey, I, give me an ultrasound of the abdomen. Now, let me tell you, if you're, if you're way overweight right now, because I know it's not permanent because you're going to fix it, but if you are way overweight right now, Sometimes we can't see your liver very well or your pancreas very well on ultrasound. And so he may have to get a CAT scan, a CT scan of your abdomen. And there is a little radiation involved in that, but not nearly as much as there was 10 years ago. And it's, it's worth it to know if you have fatty liver or not so you, so you can know how serious to get about your diet. Does that make sense? Yeah, a lot of people are saying how uh, these labs are expensive and these tests are expensive. Wait till you are um, in liver failure, and exactly. that's going to be expensive. Yeah. Now, I, let me tell you, in my clinic, I have a I have a deal with LabCorp, and so if you if you're a cash payer, we can check all the blood tests that I just told you about for under fifty bucks. Yeah. So. I didn't know you did that. Oh yeah, yeah. We have a, a deal with LabCorp in Nashville, and so tests that would normally cost three four hundred dollars. If you tell my, my lab tech that you're you're paying cash, she can put it in a different way, and it's like 40 50 bucks. Cool. Yep, absolutely. But and even so, if they're, okay, I just, it, when people say it, it's so expensive to eat healthier, it's so expensive. Like, I know some of my friends, grandmothers and aunts, and, you know, even my family members that are taking how many pills a day? Yeah. And one of my best friends worked at a pharmacy, and there are people who literally spend eight hundred dollars a month at the pharmacy for pills for their fatty liver and their diabetes and their high blood pressure and their uh back pain and all this stuff eight hundred dollars a month is expensive yeah let me just put it in perspective okay <laughs> knowing whether you have fatty liver disease or not is more important than you having cable tv this month yeah it's more important than you having that smartphone this month okay so i'm not trying to be an ass i'm just trying to put this in perspective your health is more valuable than every other thing in the world. If I ask one of my 80-year-old patients who's sick, would you give every penny you have to be 30 and healthy again? What do you think 100% of them would say? Uh, yeah. 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 Hell yeah, I'll do that right now. Yeah. So don't act like, oh, it's so expensive. No, it's not. What's expensive is to be sick, okay, and feel like crap all the time. That's the most expensive thing in the world. Right? Yeah, big Pharma really wants you to have a fatty liver. Yeah, they love it when you're overweight. They're killing yeah, all the pills. Yeah, you need more pills that way. Yeah. Okay, so the, the lab test we talked about, uh, and then we also talked about an abdominal ultrasound. We talked about a CT scan of the liver uh, or the abdomen, and that'll get the liver. And same way with the ultrasound, you'll get an ultrasound of the abdomen, and they'll also look at your kidneys and pancreas and spleen and everything else. But if you're too overweight right now, they, they won't be able to see your pancreas and your... Um, liver good and so they'll have to get a CAT scan in order to see it good. Now let me tell you another trick because like I, I told you about the radiologist I saw on YouTube. I have had to tell my local radiologist to comment yay or nay on whether the patient has fatty liver because it's so common a lot of times they won't even think to, to leave a comment in my radiology report and so I had to I have to call him and say hey what about Joe Blow does he have fatty liver or not? And he'll look again, he'll be like, yeah, he does have some fatty streaking. And to him, still in his mind, that's not a big deal. And I'm like, thanks for that, Doc, because that's really important. And now most of the local radiologists know that they need to comment in their report to me for an abdominal ultrasound or an abdominal CT, whether there's fatty infiltration of the liver and of the pancreas. You know, I did that other video on the YouTube channel about fatty pancreas, and still doctors act like they don't even know what that means, and that is a huge risk factor for type 2 diabetes if you have fat in your pancreas, okay? So, so now you know you have it. How are you going to reverse it? Okay, so now you, and so let, let me say this. The symptoms of fatty liver, you could have fatty liver right now. I could have it. You could have it right now. There are really no symptoms until it's advanced. When you're in the, the first, the stage one and stage two fatty liver, you have no symptoms other than maybe some mild fatigue. You might have a little, little vague abdominal pain. You may have a little nausea sometimes, but not really. You can really have no symptoms and have pretty advanced 
fatty liver. So you cannot go by your symptoms. If your doc says, well, you feel fine, your labs are a little elevated, it's not a big deal. Mm -mm. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. That's not okay. Okay. So, oh, I was going to tell you guys, I forgot earlier. It, please share this video if you're in keto groups, paleo groups, low carb, high fat groups, because all those guys are very interested in their health and they would love this information, I think. And you, you literally could save a life by sharing this video. Okay. Now let's talk about how to fix it. Food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think that's fun. It is, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, you know, I'd rather eat the ribs that we have cooking in the oven mm. than take a pill. Yeah. You know, I love to eat. I think everybody loves to eat. I love if you to don't eat. like food, we can't be friends. I love to eat ribs. Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> I can smell them right now. I put them in this morning. They've been cooking on 270 for hours. They're going to be so juicy and tender. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. So, so that's how you fix it. Wait, is, the, eat, is you know, what about the fat fish. on the ribs? Will they make us have fatty liver? No, they won't. That's right. So, the best part. fat does not cause fatty liver. Just like eating fat doesn't make you fat, eating fat also doesn't cause fatty liver. And there are actually, if your doctor says, well, you've got fatty liver, you need to cut back on your fat intake, you need to get up, you need to smile, you need to shake his hand, and you need to very politely leave his office because he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He needs to get back in his books and do some Googling and do some reading, okay? You need to pay your bill because a doctor's office is not McDonald's. You don't get to have it your way. You were paying for his medical advice. And even though it was faulty, you still got it. So you need to pay your bill, but then don't, don't go back to him. Give him a year or two to maybe catch up on his reading. Then you can try him again if you really love him, okay? But you just cannot cause fatty liver by eating fat. It's impossible, okay? You cause fatty liver by eating sugars, starches, Simple carbs, grains, drinking liquid Coke. dairy, <laughs> drinking Coke, anything. Okay, if what anything. About juice? Yeah, yeah, and that's a great. So, so what's better? What's less likely to cause fatty liver? Coke or orange juice? Are they the same? Mm. Yay! Yeah, they're the same. There's no difference. <laughs> Literally, they both are full of fructose. Now, maybe the Coke's got more high fructose corn, fructose corn syrup, right? Mm -hmm. And so it may be, cause it a little faster, but do not think that drinking or, or organic, fresh squeezed orange juice is, is healthy. It's not a health food, okay? No, no time in our history, no time in our 30,000 years. Even the diet, right? Yeah. The diet's still bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no... There, but even, it's better. But diet Coke, good. yeah, Diet Coke. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant Diet Orange Juice. Also. Well, I think it? there is Diet Orange Juice, that, that's, but that would be horrible. That's ridiculous, yeah. So, <laughs> but you cannot drink fructose, okay? Now, you can maybe have some berries and some fruit occasionally, but and that's, that's probably ancestrally fine because every fall when the fruit got ripe, you know our ancestors ate it, right? And you know every now and then they found a honey tree. And honey is full of fructose, by the way. Agave nectar is full of fructose. Any natural sweetener like that is full of fructose. I'm sorry. Um, say fructose again. Fructose. <laughs> See, in the South, we say fructose. But I know the rest of the world says fructose. So I, I try to say it like they do. But here in Tennessee, so fancy. <laughs> here in Tennessee, it's fructose. And don't, eat, don't drink that. Okay, it's bad, right? Um, okay, yes, so you can have you can have heavy cream. Yeah, because you know what's not in heavy cream? There's no sugar. All the sugar's been taken out. There is a tiny there bit of protein. There is a brand. There is a brand. We accidentally got a brand, and on the back of it, it said carbs because Melissa got it, and then she got home with it and looked on the back, and it was like 12 grams of sugar. So you, yeah, you have to check your labels, even yeah. if it's heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Some people mm -hmm. are going to sneak mm -hmm. some sugar in. Big business. Big food is in business. For A, your health, or B, to make a profit for their board of directors. They're in business for a profit. They don't give a damn about you. They don't care about your liver. They don't care about your mama or your baby. They don't care. They just want your money, okay? And so if they can slide a little sugar or a little high fructose corn syrup, <laughs> or, or they'll even call sugar like natural honey sweetener. Sounds great, right? Mm -hmm. Fructose. Or they'll say agave nectar sweetened. No sugar. Guess what? Say it. You say it. Fructose. 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 Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. So they don't care about that. They're going to put fructose in there if it makes it taste it makes better. It taste better, yeah. And you're going to buy it. And kids are going to buy it because they don't know better. And uninformed adults are going to buy it because they don't know better. 
Now you know better, okay? So even if it says organic, natural, fresh squeezed, no artificial sweeteners, any it doesn't natural none of that matters. It doesn't mean anything. If it yeah. has a label yeah. on it, you've got to turn that puppy around and read the label. Are there some things that they don't have to put? It's well, like, it's, can they round down? Didn't you say that? Like on some things you can round down? Yeah, they can round down. So if something has 0.95 grams of sugar, they can round that down to zero. Now, I was taught in school if it was 0.5 or higher, you had to round up. But evidently, big food has this sweetheart deal with our federal government, and they get to round down. Yeah, unless it's one. If it's less than one, they can round down to zero. True story. Yeah. Thanks, federal government, for really getting our back there. That's great. It's awesome. So what should you avoid to get rid of your, your fatty liver? Here's the thing. You can't add anything to your diet to get rid of fatty liver. There's no prescription medicine on this planet that gets rid of fatty liver. If your doctor tells you there is one, he's wrong. Okay? Here are the possible medicines that your doc might say, hey, this will help with your fatty liver. A statin. Okay, any to or Lipitor, Zocor, Crestor, any of those ors, a lot of docs think they truly believe in their heart based on fallacious research and falsified research conclusions that that'll improve your fatty liver. Never been shown, never been proven. There is no study that shows that. Look it up, okay? The next is Avandia, Avandamet, or what was that other one? That's a lot. Yeah. Avandia or just pills. It'll come to me in a second. There's no prescription <laughs> pill. But even if your doc says, yeah, this will this will probably help your fatty liver, mm mm. Nope, sorry. If some health expert or some guru, these are my air quotes. How's that? You got that? If somebody says, Oh, if you'll just take my liver cleanse or my liver supplement or my liver miracle, then it'll get it'll cure your fatty liver, that's bull crap. It's bullcrap. They're just trying to make money, just like big food, just like big pharma. You can't blame them for trying to make money, but if you're dumb enough to fall for it, guess whose fault that is? Well, not dumb, ignorant. Ignorant, right, but yeah. you're not ignorant now. You you now know But there's there no, is no reason pill. to be ignorant at this point because you have a phone, like literally everybody mm -hmm. has a phone in their hand and you have two eyes and you can read labels. And so That's right, and you, you can, can go to YouTube and watch three videos and <laughs> yes, no more than watch, the average doctor about this. You can watch keto kin videos. <laughs> so, yeah, there's just, I mean, yeah. and that's, like it's gonna be, I don't know. Like big pharma's gonna stroke out. They are gonna stroke out. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> and at some point, I don't know if they're gonna start suing people like me or if they're gonna start changing their tune. I don't know what'll happen. It's gonna be interesting. It would be stupid to sue you instead of just like they should just buy you know a dairy farm and make more heavy cream and butter. <laughs> right, That'd invest in heavy cream. That's exactly right. right. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> so the foods you need to get out of your life. Are anything that is a liquid that is liquid and has fructose, whether it's a fruit juice or whether it's Coca Cola, whether it's Pepsi Cola, Dr Pepper. That's your your favorite, right? It used to be. It used to be, yeah. My mine used to be Mountain Dew back in the day. Mm. Yeah, I used to love them, and now mm -mm, no, I can live without it because I don't want to have fatty liver. So any grain, and the grains include obviously wheat, but a lot of people don't realize that corn is a grain. Corn is absolutely full of fructose. Oats are a grain. They are absolutely full of fructose. Okay? What, what's another grain? Am I forgetting one? Rice. Rice is a, is a <clears throat> grain. And I'm sorry. That's I know, my favorite. I know that there are countries that eat lots of rice and their BMI is very low, but they also have an inordinately high rate of fatty liver and type 2 diabetes, even though they're slender. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was just reading about that the other day. In, in India and other countries that have a high rice consumption, they have what's known as skinny type 2. They're type 2 That's diabetic even though they're, they're not obese. Yeah, and that can absolutely be a thing. So there is no grain that you can eat. In any kind of quantity, that's that you're not going to have a risk of having fatty liver. Yeah, that's really sad. I mean, yes, it is sad. Don't yeah. think that he, he is not upset about giving up some of these foods. Okay? I am. No, yeah, and don't. Act, yeah, I'm not trying to act <laughs> like I'm happy about it, dude. Yeah. I love waffles and pancakes, but it is not worth being sick over. I'm sorry, it's not yeah. worth feeling like crap over. I'm not going to do it. So that that's really, and then liquid milk. So the worst of all being skim milk because it has the highest sugar percentage. Did anybody comment the other sugar in milk? Did anybody know? Yeah, glactose. Glactose, Glac that's yeah. right. Exactly right. That's right, yeah. Yeah, two or three people. Yeah, very good. But um, so skim milk is the worst dairy of all. 
Okay, so if any product, yogurt, um, sour cream, um, sour cream, cream cheese, if it says, wait, if it says fat-free. Fat free, mm -mm. Or low-fat. Nope, 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 nope. Do not waste your money. No, don't do it. Get full-fat dairy. That's the only dairy you'll ever touch. And really, I really want you to try to never use any dairy that's less fat than half and half. Okay, the dairy we use are, is heavy cream, and we don't really use a lot of that because it has a tiny bit of protein, and I feel like it stalls me. But we use a ton of butter, grass-fed butter. And now I'll tell you, let me tell you this, heavy cream doesn't stall Nisha. She I was does, fixing to yeah. say, I think it stalls you, but it doesn't. Exactly it seems right. to really help me a yep. lot. Yep, yep, yep. And I love heavy cream, but if I drink too much of it... He drinks and, a lot more than I do, too, yeah, though. Yeah, I like, do, I do, I like do. Um, in a day, I <laughs> drink probably half a cup because I drink coffee time and he in a day drinks two uh quarts so <laughs> maybe, <yeah. laughs> maybe that may be true you yeah. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you yeah, do yeah. i have it in my coffee all day and then i have it in my my and nuts add it to everything. and i add it to everything yeah so but now let me tell you that the dairy that's absolutely safe is grass-fed butter and then the full fat real cheeses not the shredded cheese because yeah. there's sugar hidden in That's those, right? right? That's if, so if, weird. If big food shreds your cheese for you, they have to put either some sort of grain, some sort of sugar, maltodextrin. They have to put something to keep the little shreds from sticking together. And but you if, can shred your own. That's right. If they can make it taste better, they're going to do it, honey. We I promise you. Own, like, I made mm -hmm. um, cheat macaroni and cheese with the gluten-free pasta. It's still not good, but, you know, it's keto-ish. Yep. That was when we were more paleo when I was doing that. But, yep. <clears throat> oh, my God, it's so much better anyway. Yeah, so much better. The, but, I mean, it's better. Yeah, buy real cheese from the deli and shred it yourself when you get home. It's not going to kill you, okay? You might nick a finger. I've done that. He's done it a lot. It's really bad too, but you know, then it's just extra protein, protein. in the cheese. So yeah, <laughs> so that's the only dairy that I recommend is full Ghee fat dairy. Is good for the liver. Ghee. We have now, some in the yeah. cabinet right now. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what ghee is? I don't know. It's butter. It kind of stuff. I don't know. It it's, tastes good. It's purified butter with all the milk solids removed from the butter. Hmm. So. So it's butter, but. Clarify it. See, it's like butter made better. It's like heavenly butter. That's what it is. So if you take a grass-fed butter and then you make ghee from that, that's literally like food from above. I mean, that is so perfect for you. And it will definitely not cause fatty liver, and it may actually help if you're, if you're eating it. And so realize it's not what you add to your diet that's going to cure fatty liver, okay? It's not a pill. It's not a powder. It's not a supplement. It's not a, dr a, a shake. None of that's going to fix your fatty liver. What's going to fix your fatty liver is what you remove from your diet. You get that? Is that? You get that concept? And that's really a huge concept for all chronic disease. It's not about adding products or pills. It's about removing the poison out of your diet. Stop eating the slow poison that is grains, liquid dairy, fructose, right? Don't do that. Fruit juice, that, those are slow poisons. They slowly poison you. Mm -hmm. Got it? Now, what do we want to talk about next? Somebody said, what cheese do you recommend? Mm, well, Parmesan. Yeah, any full brie, fat cheese. Brie. I, I feel like brie has a lot of fat in it. Mm, that one that yeah, we got, mm, so that good. Was like, it was like truffle stuffed. Yeah, it's it awesome. Really good. My favorite is Parmesan, and get a block of Parmesan and shred it. I can put that on anything, and it's just divine. I love it. I love cheddar. I love Swiss. Sharp cheddar. Yeah, sharp cheddar. Mm -hmm. um, what's that? What is that really white cheese that we get? It may be a goat cheese. I love that too. But no matter what animal the cheese comes from, make sure it's full fat, right? And also make sure and they it's don't. It's not cheese food. That's right. If it says cheese food product. Throw that crap away. That ain't real. That's not that's cheese. Velveeta, in that's Velveeta. That's you're wondering. It's ridiculous. No. <laughs> There's so much real cheese in this world. Why would you want to make fake cheese? We eat a lot of mozzarella in the summer because he grows basil and it just like mm. explodes. We have so much basil. Oh, like it's literally, so it's just pesto and basil and everything. And so you know, eat a lot of mozzarella with tomatoes because mm. he grows tomatoes too. So good. Spring is coming. I'm so excited. Are you going to do a garden this oh, year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to. We're busy, but we got to have a garden. We got to have our basil. Oh, yeah. Basil. <laughs> Here, not posh. Here in the south, I say basil. Here in the south, we say basil, but I think everywhere else in the world, it's basil. Basil. So yeah, well, we love our basil. So have we got any good questions? Do we have any questions? Is anybody watching this? I don't what about know. sliced cheese? 
If it's from the deli and it's not... If they if the yeah. deli slices it in front of your eyes, yeah. it's okay. You cannot trust big food to slice or shred your cheese. They will add something. They cannot help it because their profit margin is so slim. Just, Anything they can do to make you eat more, they're going to do. My mother's here. She gets to be on camera. She shows up always in the middle. Of, we're always in the middle of summer. <laughs> I love Velveeta too. Yeah. Okay. I, no, let me tell you. I do too. Honey. I mean, I lived Rotel? on shells and cheese and Rotel dip most of my mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Not going to lie. Yeah. I love delicious. not having fat in my liver much more than I love. Gummy bears are delicious too, but they would kill me if yeah. I ate them every day. They say so. crack cocaine's pretty good too, but I ain't, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to. Oh my do gosh. It. There was some movie we watched the other day and it was like comparing sugar to cocaine and like sugar is like 800,000 times more addictive than cocaine. That's scary. Yeah, 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 and it's absolutely true. It actually uh, stimulates the endorphins, the opioid receptors yeah. in your brain. More than it gives you the drugs. same kind of high as heroin. Absolutely does. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, she's talking to her mom. You can come in. It's but locked. Up. No, I unlocked it. She can come in. Yeah, make her come over here and be on camera. You guys want to meet Nisha's mom? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I make gummy bears from. <gasps> That's cool. Mm, I, need, nice. I need some of those. Nice. So. Yeah, you want to be on TV? Hey, come say hi. You come do. on. They've already Whatever met Pedro. Come. Pedro. 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 <laughs> yeah, bring Rhett Butler. There you go. <laughs> Smart woman. Smart rock. woman. <laughs> That's my mother. There's Andrea. She's a teacher. She's a school teacher. What grade do you teach? Third. Third grade teacher. Yeah. yeah. And, well, yeah, she's taught pretty much everything. Hey, grade. this this year, uh, roughly how many kids in your class were overweight? How many out of how many? She can't say that. That's mean. You can't even give me a rough percentage? Actually, not many this year. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. In some years, it's been 30, 40%. Uh -oh. I'm working on it. Is it working? It's okay. Pretty healthy, though. I can play outside. Good, 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 good. Maybe it's better. <laughs> okay, you want to tell them about the giveaway? Oh, are we doing that on this? Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Yeah. So I just posted a new video on the YouTube channel about fatty liver. There's actually three videos there now about fatty liver that goes into more detail than we talked about here today. And I really want you guys to watch those and share those so that we can literally stamp out fatty liver disease as an epidemic in America and Canada and the UK and Australia. Okay? So here, we're gonna, I'm going to give away two things. I'm going to give away an autographed copy of Lies My Doctor Told Me. And I, if you, if when you, I'll like put your name and write a personal note, blah, blah, blah. Like, write a poem. I don't know. Yeah, I'll write you a poem if you like. But then also I'm going to give away a... This is the best part. Yeah, like, a, the other book's okay. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, and also Whatever. a book. But also I'm going to give away <laughs> on e-visit. I do, I do medical coaching on e-visit if you're not a patient of mine at the clinic. And I'm going to give away a 10-minute e-visit session. And so you can literally have me one-on-one... -on -one face-to-face -face on e-visit for 10 minutes and ask me everything about your medical issues, the medicines you take. And it's not medical advice I'm giving you. It's medical coaching. You'll take everything we talk about back to your doctor, but basically you get 10 free minutes to one-on-one -on -one pick my brain. What's that usually? That's it's 60 bucks uh, yeah. for 10 minutes typically is what it is. And Unless then, you're a patient. Then yeah, it's and it's, it's 45 if you If you've been to my clinic ever, then you're, you're a patient of mine. It's $45. And actually, I can do medical things for you in that case. And I've actually had people drive from other states to see me in the clinic one time so that then I can be their doctor on e-visits. Yeah, because then pretty it's, cool. and then you can actually. I can actually doctor. prescribe medications, order yeah. tests, and actually be their doctor even though they live in another state. But you have to see me one time in, in the office for that. But you can get 10 minutes of free medical coaching one-on-one -on -one with me if you'll do the following. <clears throat> um, you have to be subscribed to YouTube. You have to comment on the YouTube that you would like to be entered in the competition. So and you the, just say, you just comment, Lies My Doctor Told Me. Put the title of the book, Lies My Doctor Told Me. And... Uh, like Facebook page and comment on comment this. On the, so yes. comment on this one. Lies my doctor told me. Like my Facebook page, right? Yeah. Give this a heart or two, and then go over to YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube and just search Dr. Ken Berry, I think I pop up number one now. Maybe I don't know, but then subscribe to my channel. And on one of the the liver videos, the fatty liver videos, comment lies my doctor told me. That's all you got to do, and then you're entered. And now if, and if you're, you're Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I was Go ahead. Say, if 
you're the cool people who are on um, patrons or patreons. I don't know how you pronounce patrons, that. Patrons, I think. Is yeah. it patrons? That yeah. makes more sense. But some yeah. people pronounce it patreon. Anyways, then you're automatically entered. You're automatically entered. Y'all but rock. if you'd like to be entered twice, then you can do you everything can do I just said. And yeah. then you'll be entered twice. You'll be entered twice. But okay. patrons are already automatically entered in this. And so your chances of winning double if you do everything I just said. So like my Facebook page, comment lies my doctor told me on this video on Facebook, not on Instagram. Got to be on Facebook. And then go to the, face, uh, the YouTube channel, subscribe, and comment on one of the fatty liver videos, lies my doctor told me. And that's it. You're entered. Okay? And then you're going to get 10 minutes with me face-to-face -face and a free autographed copy of Lies My Doctor Told Me with a poem, if you wish. I think you should write a, a haiku. A haiku poem, yes. Yeah. I'll, yes, I'll write a haiku <laughs> about poem keto. A about keto, keto and fatty liver in the book. Absolutely will. Consider <laughs> it done. That'd be awesome. Consider it done, yeah. And we'll <laughs> mail it to you anywhere in the world that you are. Yeah. Just I'll just ask you for your address, give it to me, and I'll mail you the book. How's mm -hmm. that? That's pretty cool, right? Now, we're going to try. We're going to keep checking back. And so I want you guys to leave any question that you can think of in the comments on Facebook of this of the video. And that way, we're going to try when we have time. We'll try to answer every question that we can. Okay. Also, uh, for everybody asking, we're in Tennessee, and it's uh, I don't know, like 45 minutes west of Nashville. Yeah. The, the city, if you want to put it into your, your search, <laughs> is Camden, C-A-M-D-E-N, Tennessee. And I'm not trying to... To uh, get you to come see asked. me, yeah, I'm not trying to get you to come see me because trust me, I've got I've got a full book. But if you want to, that's totally fine. Come see me in Camden, I Tennessee. I want you to come. Well, I, well I yeah, meet I would love to meet you and take a selfie with you. But I'm not trying to get you to come just to, <laughs> to get a patient because we got a full book. But yeah, please, it's fine. Uh, Camden, Tennessee, and then that way you'll know how far it is. But please, just you can always do medical coaching with me on e-visit. You don't have to drive to Camden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How about that? So leave all your questions in the comments. And if you want to be entered in the contest, then you're going to like the Facebook page, comment lies my doctor told me on this video on Facebook, then go to the YouTube page, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and then comment in one of the fatty liver videos, lies my doctor told me. Okay? And that's going to get you entered. Patrons, if you're a patron of mine, then you're already in entered. And if you're not a patron of mine, you can always go to patreon.com and, and help me out a little bit so I'll have more time to make videos and just like this. Uh, for uh, Patreons that are watching this right now, the ribs, we're actually making yeah. a video yeah. just for you guys. Yeah. Just for it's patrons a only. Cooking video. So yeah. that'll yeah. be, I'm going to edit it tonight and probably post it in the morning. So All stay right. tuned. Very good. Okay, I think we're about to wrap it up. You think? Can you think of anything else we need to say? I mean, say? there's a million questions on here we haven't answered, but I mean, we're going on. We're going to come back later and answer a ton of y'all's questions, yeah. I promise. And then please, if you're in a keto group, if you're in a paleo group, if you're in an intermittent fasting group, if you're in an ancestral primal group, please share this to your group because so many people, they, they're starting to understand the importance of your food and, and your diet, but they still don't really get it yet. And I think when people hear, so you're telling me that I have caused my own self to have fatty liver by my diet? Yeah, you have. That's right. I think that's going to be a huge wake-up call for hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, and like, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? You've been manipulated. <laughs> yeah. You have. So don't feel bad. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's yeah. honestly, it's not even really your fault. You've been, I mean, you've been manipulated. Yeah. So. Bad news is you caused it yourself. Good news is. You can also uncause it. Yourself. You can fix it yourself. Is that, that's sexy, right? I love that. You don't need me. You don't need Nisha. You don't need any doctor in the world. You just need to fix your diet. Mm -hmm. How's that? Yep. All right, guys, we're going to finish up here. The fam is here to visit. And so we're going to come back later and Hi, answer. Toto. So, hey, Toto. Hey, baby. Oh. You guys see Toto? <laughs> I, I love promise it. he's loved. He just looks homeless all the time. Yeah. You can bathe him. You can groom him. He still he looks just like that. He doesn't care. Say hi. Hey, Toto. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to sign off Facebook, and Nisha's going to sign off Instagram, and we'll see you guys next time. And if you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments. We're always looking for video ideas. Bye. Bye. Love you guys.